Hey everyone, welcome to John of All Trades. So in this first part of our three-part series, we are going to go over access to buttons. That is how to create a button for a movement of your throttle sticks. What this is going to help you do is when you're ready to start your engines within DCS or other games, uh, this will be based around DCS. You can move your throttle stick up just a little bit as if you had a detent there. So let's get started. Okay, first thing you're going to do is open up VPC Joystick Setup. Move this over. Oh, there we go. I had to think about it. Move this over so you guys can see a little better. So, when you get your throttle or any base, you have to do the initial setup. I'm assuming you guys have already done that. Calibrated your axis. If you have not, I'll put a link in the description below to a uh, video where I show you how to do that. So we're going to be working right here in access to buttons and we'll also be working within the button tab. So what you want to do is go down. I like to start at the bottom. So we have button 128 and 127. So we are going to go to access. You have your access number here. You can see their number here. One is left. Uh, two is right. So we're going to go axis number one, range one to five. And we're going to set this up on 127. Now, this is your physical button. We'll still have to make a virtual. I'll show you how to do that. And do the same thing one, two, five. And we're going to go button. 128. Okay, now let's go ahead and save. Okay, let's go ahead and move on over here to the button tab. So you can see on the bottom here, we have, now as we move the throttles, you can see 127 and 128. Now this is a physical button. So if we look at our buttons over here, you can see we have logical button. This is what Windows sees. Physical button is the button push, which this is our access that we made. Uh, any other buttons you push, you can see light up over here. Also there's four or five. Um, and then this is the mode they're in. Uh, most modes are going to be normal. We will be showing you guys a toggle on and toggle off. That will be in the next part of the series. And shift. So this is your shift dial here. If you want a different, uh, you know, you could set this, you know, your throttles to only work up when it's shifted on one, you know, one, two, three, zero, five and delay. This is if you want to delay on your switch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to physical button 80. I'm going to double click on that or logical button 80 rather. So we're going to change this to physical button 127. I want to leave it normal with no shift, no delay, save and exit. Now that automatically takes us to the next button which is button 81. We're going to put this one as 128. Leave that as normal, shift zero, save and exit. And then come down here and go save. Now if we come up here, save VPC device. This is going to write it to our controller. Okay, so now if we come over here to the our tool, 
you can see here as we move the joystick up. Maybe thinking about it. No, offline. Sorry. Helps if you select your joystick first. There we go. So as you move your joystick up, you can see now it's firing off 81. This is Windows logical button 81. And you can see there's 80. As we hit it, it goes on and then off. So we are good there. We're going to close. And we are done with the Verbal software. So we can close that. And now we will go into DCS. And I will show you guys how to set up your control within DCS. All right, here we are on the Okay, here we are in the A10C. I have the APU going. As you can see, our throttles are still not working quite yet. We're going to hit Escape, go to Adjust Controls, and then Search for Engine. You can see here we have Engine Start, Start, Stop, and Stop. So we're going to go Engine Start left, come over here to your throttle. And we're going to hit add, roll the throttle forward. See there it went in, okay. And then we'll go to the next one, add, button 81, okay. And engine stop left. So to do this, you'll need to come in here and make a modifier. You can see here, I already have my modifier created, and which is joy button forward, it's a little button up here. So Darn it. Go back into there. Okay, so now to shut them down, we're going to go add, add modifier, and roll your throttle forward, and come back over here, add, play button forward for the modifier, roll your right throttle, and OK. And now if we just roll forward, you can see the throttle here came off idle. And there you go. And now you hit, I hit my button here. And I can roll it forward again. It shuts it down. And that is how you set up your access for your throttles to work. You hit the button again. So that is a virtual detent right there. In the next video, we'll be going over how to set up your virtual afterburners. And in the next video, we'll get into button and switches. Three part series. I'll try to get them out as fast as possible. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe and like for more videos just like this.